Get up. We're going. Where? Save the world. Oh, is that all? Netflix's latest original series, The Umbrella Academy, arrives this month and is a bizarre 10-episode series based on a cult classic superhero comic from artist Gabrielle Ba and Gerard Way. Yes, as in the guy from My Chemical Romance. So what is The Umbrella Academy? Let's dig into its comic book origins. Umbrella Academy got its start back in 2007 with the release of its first six-issue limited series titled Umbrella Academy Apocalypse Suite, published by Dark Horse Comics. It established the basic premise, one day 43 women around the world with no signs of pregnancy gave birth simultaneously to infants that showed various superhuman abilities. Seven of the kids were adopted by an eccentric billionaire adventurer named Sir Reginald Hargreaves who created, wait for it, the Umbrella Academy. There, he trained his adopted children to be a superhero team. That being said, the kids experienced an exceedingly dysfunctional childhood. Their father was only interested in their powers, and their primary caretaker was a genetically modified chimp named Pogo. The kids' day-to-day -day lives revolved around training to use their powers and various feats of public superheroics against any number of strange and potentially cosmic threats. And by strange, we mean really, really weird. The first thing the kids are shown fighting is an animated Eiffel Tower, which turns out to be a spaceship puppeteered by zombie robot Gustav Eiffel. Each member of the Hargreaves family slash team was assigned a number, a code name, and a civilian name. Number one, Space Boy, Luther Hargreaves, is super strong. Number two, the Kraken, Diego Hargreaves, can hold his breath forever and throw knives with deadly accuracy. Number three, the rumor, Allison Hargreaves, can tell lies that alter reality. Number four, the seance, Claus Hargreaves, can contact the dead. Number five, the boy, has no civilian name and can teleport and time travel. Number six, the horror, Ben Hargreaves, can summon monsters of his skin and is mysteriously dead. Number seven, the white violin, Vanya Hargreaves, who is played by Ellen Page in the Netflix show, spent her childhood told she had no special gifts, which she soon learns may not have been true at all. The kids' gifts and superheroic feats aren't actually the focus of the story. The real narrative occupies a chunk of time far after the Academy has been formally dissolved. The kids have grown up, and their makeshift family has all but totally fallen apart. They're pulled back together after the death of Hargreaves, which sets in motion a series of events leading to some very unwelcome secrets coming to light. Following the Apocalypse Suite, Umbrella Academy continued to expand its story by adding two more limited series to the lineup. The first, Umbrella Academy Dallas, began publication in 2009 and dealt with a truly mind-bending level of time travel and alternate history. The second, Umbrella Academy Hotel Oblivion, was originally set for release in the early 2010s but experienced a number of major delays. It finally saw publication in 2018, just in time for the release of the Netflix show. The Netflix show itself is mostly a blend of both Apocalypse Suite and Dallas, with a healthy amount of remixing and reinventing. After all, there are some things they can pull off on paper that just wouldn't work on a TV show. Zombie robot Gustav Eiffel, for example, doesn't really translate. But don't worry, Pogo the talking chimpanzee definitely does. All 10 episodes of The Umbrella Academy launch on Netflix on February 15th, and all three volumes of Umbrella Academy are available everywhere comics are sold. Let us know in the comments what you think of the comics and or the show, and thanks for watching.